This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of your courses. channel I tend to have a lot of interest in gear some of it expensive some of it not so much now I was particularly interested and this came up in a video not so long ago with the new X MG 50 and I thought well this is the cheapest thing that I can think of that can do this job except for the Boss GT1 and so I thought right I'll, I'll look out on eBay for one of these boys and one came up and used you can get these for about 80 to 100 pounds and so what you're essentially getting is something that, you know, the Boss GT100 in a, a smaller package. Now, whether you want a Boss GT100 or not, I don't know. But the, the thing that I'm, I've just recorded that intro, and I feel like there's no escaping how you sound, essentially. And it, I don't know if you think that this sounds much different to any of my other tones. Uh, obviously, this is the, probably the cheapest tone except for the pocket pod that you heard me playing. Does this just sound exactly like me just through another piece of gear I, I, yeah I, I don't feel like that sounds any worse than anything else I've done which is possibly to be expected but at the same time um, yeah an interesting piece of gear it's actually got a plastic bottom but the top of it is metal these switches feel considerably fine um, I know over in the kind of eastern part of the world I think these things are gigged quite a bit, and maybe in some of the like South American parts of the world, world, world. Um, but yeah, this is a video, kind of my first dabbling with the Boss GT One. I did really like that lead tone to play, um, so it seems to me that you could do pretty much the job of most of these modelers with a GT One. It turns out, sell your gear. On with the video. Now, the first preset that you turn on is going to sound like this. And if you press control, these buttons actually feel really nice under the fingers too. That to me is kind of quintessential old modeler tone. There's nothing about that that to me stands out as being particularly good sounding. Let me just check the output menu uh, to make sure that we're not doing something obviously bad. Uh, so if I select the output as being line or headphones, maybe we get a better result. So that should be where you have things, I think, in the modern day. Okay, well that's already a little bit more normal. Let's go to this fat bluesy lead again. So 
back to this jazz fusion genre. Where are you? Uh, crunch, jazz fusion. Ah, uh, so this one. <laughs> I mean, I do really like that. So maybe we'll start here and just look at what's in this patch. So if we go into memory edit, you can see aspects what's in there. So effects one is what, if we press enter, it's a compressor. Um, two pages of edits on that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We go across here. We can select the OD, and that is a clean boost by the look of things, and some more settings there. Interesting. Okay, and then the preamp we're going into is the natural clean, and some other settings there, speaker type, all that sort of stuff. Um, then we go into a noise suppressor and the delay type is a standard and normal kind of settings for that and the reverb is a whole reverb now in terms of different types i think we've got some various bits and pieces let's try a plate with a nice long let's see what we can do with this thing I, i'm thinking <laughs> Other settings what else have we got let's take our high cut down a bit I think uh, so that's over there cool right so if I liked that as a reverb sound then let's just go back to our delay and enter and let's change our type so the third one so we can change this to be let's go for a tape okay then if we enter, we can get into the... Or is there a stereo delay? So exit and then type. Pan. Pan might be... Right, that's what we're after. So let's go into that and... Take the high cut back. And then we'll also go in and press enter again. We'll turn the feedback up. Right. Uh, back to our menu or oh, exit here. Let me just try and save this. Uh, so what do we do? We exit, hold them together. So right, enter, and if we write it to our user patch target where we want it to go to, this one here, because this didn't sound great to me, enter. We'll change that character to that, and then enter, enter. Okay, so this is now my preset. this is the thing I was talking about this kind of easy edit so if we wanted to edit the tone um, to have something mild some kind of other
pretty cool. Useful. Uh, early, what would that be? Acoustic guitar. Interesting. So you can see there's like easy kind of presets to, to experiment with there as well. I'm going to do the same with kind of chorusy bits. Um, So like, I don't know, to me, you could, it seems to me to be the case that you could easily find some tones in there. If you go to the end of um, this list here, you can actually assign multiple kind of assignments to foot switches, so just show you how this would work. Enter, so assign, source control one, enter, and category. Uh, let's do it, delay, on or off, then I think, if you turn the assignment on, you see that then switches delay on or off. So we could have delay off. Oh, sorry, delay on there. So let's just flip the switch on that category uh, so that it's on and off. Um, and then press enter. We'll write that. Right, enter, enter, enter. Enter, and then just reverb, press this, we got our delay as well. That's assigned to volume at the moment. I could, I guess, assign that to be some sort of boost or maybe even chorus. Let's just try and do that and I'll... Cool, now we're cooking. And so then if I come out of here and just adjust my depth of effect, uh, then we've got... a nice chorus there, so... Enter, 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 enter. Didn't take long to be getting to a stage where... 
I can just start playing the guitar and have sort of two tones. <laughs> And then if I wanted to, I go into preamp. Uh, we can chuck the gain up here if we need to. Equally, I could go into ODDS and chuck the drive up here too. Let's see, where do we get to? That's my first time playing with it and I'm already kind of thinking well that's got plenty of Uh, plenty of opportunity to do some really cool things with. Have we got a looper here? Uh, looks like we might have. Works like a looper as well. So it's got kind of most of the things that you'd want. A little tuner. Um, quite good for the money, I would think. Uh, especially if you were like on a budget and you're thinking, right, how can I, you know, something you could fit in a bag do a ton of things, costs about as much as a, a drive pedal. You get one or two fairly easily decent tones out of that. And again, as we said, like this kind of little subgenre thing could maybe be a help to get some um, quick results. Uh, this, yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried one of these boys? Uh, did it work for you? Uh, I think it's GT100 technology in here, you know, nothing mind-blowing or anything, but for the money, I feel like you could have a ton of fun with that. The interface feels an awful lot like something like the uh, Bosch GT1000 core, surprisingly. Right, I'll catch you in another video soon, let me know your thoughts on the GT1, would you be uh, someone who'd use one of those things if you were taking something on holiday or something? Cheers for now!